I may have done this before. <laughs> Doesn't look like I've ever done that before. <laughs> Don't call the cops. I paid money for this. <laughs> Happy holidays, guys. Welcome back. So I did a thing where I messaged the entire group chat on Instagram. <laughs> And I was like, hey guys, do you want to do a holiday stay home glam get ready with me collab as many people as want to do it? And they were all like, oh my gosh, that sounds like so much fun. And I was like, yay, I'm so excited. And then I was like, oh, I'm getting my lips redone tomorrow. <laughs> And so that's why I look like this. And um, the show must go on. It's honestly a metaphor for 2020. We just roll with it. So yes, that is what this video is. We are going to be doing a holiday stay home get ready with me because if you are getting ready for anything this holiday, it better be to stay home because at least in the United States, we are in dire straits, fam. <laughs> we cannot get our ever loving you know what together. But like I just said, this video is also a collab between me and some of my absolute favorite creators. We've got Kyla Fish, we've got State of Kate, we've got Rainier Kramer, um, Ted of Buffalo Beauty Boy, and none other than the lovely and wonderful Hannah Louise Posted. So it is a star-studded ensemble cast. Again, I will link all of their channels down below. I highly encourage you guys. Hey guys, it's a different day. Just popping in here with a little update. We had a late addition to the roster in the form of Amanda Z coming through for the holiday collab. I'm so excited to watch her video too. In a minute, I'm going to talk about all the different creators and why I love them, but in order to make this concise, I wanna just go ahead and mention why I love Amanda here. First of all, she's the one who brought us all together. <laughs> the Instagram group chat, I owe completely to her and also, if for some reason you have never been served one of her videos or you have not run across them in your search of very informative reviews, she does some of the most effective reviews that I have ever watched on YouTube. She puts the camera really, really close up to her face. She shows the actual texture of makeup going on, their performance of different products in natural light. They are super, super beautiful, very relaxing videos to watch. So if you haven't checked her channel out, check her channel out. You might like it more than mine. On with the show. Oh boy. Oh, starting the video off right. <laughs> by the way, I am, um, by all accounts, completely sober. It is uh, 11.33 in the morning on a Sunday, and I've been filming for three minutes and 28 seconds. So um, you guys watch me take my first sip of wine. I don't know why I'm justifying this to you. You're watching it because you're hoping I get drunk. Anyway, I obviously haven't seen their videos yet either, and I'm so excited about them, but we've gotten a couple of little clues on the group chat of just how silly and fun it's going to be, so. I'm going to try and do something kind of fun, kind of, um, they're over there. Of course they are. I truly hate intros. Intros are my least favorite thing in the world. I'd rather just get the party started, but okay. So the main thing that inspired this was these. We haven't talked about Lawless in ages, and these are the Lawless new bio glitter eyeshadows, and they are champagne dreams and sparkling rosé. So like, I just got really literal with it, and that was what just actually, you know what really spurred this idea? This video is gonna be eons long. I asked for inspiration for a video to feature them in. I was like, guys, what's our inspo? And someone commented, New Year's, I barely tried chic. Thank you to Lily VHH for that submission because it was literally the spark from which this entire collab sprang. So I'm gonna be doing a really fun look. I haven't really decided exactly how it's gonna go yet, but I know that there will be glitter. And uh, let's, let's go ahead and jump in guys. So to address the elephant in the room that is my giant bruised lips, if there's anybody who's watching my channel right now or watching Bye. this video right now and you're like, Kaki, I just really thought you were beautiful before and you didn't need to go and do that to your face. If you've been watching my channel for the last 16 months, I've had lip filler the whole time. <laughs> I just got them redone. And I was actually wrong when I talked about the amount that was in my lips before. Yes, it's one cc of Volbella, but I thought that that was a teaspoon. It is one fifth of a teaspoon. It is so little actual material that's in my lips, but it swells up like crazy. And I asked for a little bit more laterally right here this time because I don't know, I wanted it. <laughs> and now 
I don't know, no shade, but I look like Andrea Russett and it's all good. I mean, it's going to go down so much. Volbella is the least dramatic material, I'm pretty sure. I'm not an expert, but I think she told me that. And it's also the longest lasting. And so that is what I want. I wanted long lasting, natural looking results. Wow, what did I do there? Ew, is that a zit? Gross. Oh, there we go. All right, guys. So before we hop into talking about mostly astrology, which is what I'm going to probably be talking a lot about in this video, half the people were like, yay, and half the people left. I want to chat a little bit about my collaborators today. So I discovered a few of them through the collab that we all did with Amanda Z. And among those was Ted from Buffalo Beauty Boy and also uh, Renier Kramer. And I have really enjoyed getting acquainted with both of their content. They are both adorable. Um, Rainier does actually, honestly, content, I mean, not similar to mine, but we have very, very similar interests in aesthetics as well as individual products. And I get a lot out of her videos for that reason. You know, I'm just like, okay, a cool new perspective from somebody who has a different skin tone than me, but also very similar taste in like what she wants her makeup to look like. And also she's an Aries and we love that. And then we also have Ted who is a, uh, a hairdresser. So uh, I learned that recently. And so we had that to relate over. He's like the patron saint of bouncy hair. And I might have strong armed him into trying Duke's mayonnaise. Then we have State of Kate who honestly, I don't know how I've gone this far in my life without meeting her. I feel like we're just so kindred. I sent her a video yesterday of the current state of my lips and they were just this swollen and just this bruised. And she sent me back a video of her eating a burrito. And I don't, I don't, we're just two peas in a pod. I love her and I love her channel. Kyla Fish. I have really enjoyed Fish Miss. She has been posting every single day this month. She is as long-winded as I am, and I appreciate that about her. What is that? Where are you? What are you doing? And I actually got a lot out of her how to start project panning video because it was a lot, of, you could tell, it was a lot of experience talking. She was like, you're gonna get burnout. out. Don't set too high of goals. So yes, uh, Kyla is one of my favorite ways to spend 35 minutes. And finally, Hannah Louise. If you guys have never watched her channel, she, she has the enviable talent for developing genuine like relationships with her makeup and with her products and like finding things that she really loves and using all of that to resist the consumerism that is the monkey that lives on my back. And, um, and I envy that about her. And she is a Pisces and we love a Pisces because Pisces is the end of the Zodiac and therefore they are just the culmination of everything. They are deep, they are emotional, and they really bear the weight of all of the nonsense perpetuated by people like me. Why did you need to know that? Maybe you didn't, but you're here, so let's do some contour. So yeah, I highly, <laughs> I'm being really silly, but I highly recommend you guys go uh, check their videos out. I am, I can't, I'm like over the moon. I'm so excited to go and check out what they did and the looks that they created. And also I did give specific instructions and uh, I, I said, you know, it didn't have to be an alcoholic beverage, but I gave specific instructions to make it, you know, a beverage of some persuasion and I think uh, we all kind of went with our favorite cocktail or glass of wine or something. So that's that's what's happening here. So I'm going in with a Salt New York palette here, giving myself a little contour. And actually I'm kind of working out of my, what would you call it? Like a monthly beauty bag right now. Again, that's another thing that I learned about on Kyla's channel. There seems to be this entire subculture on YouTube that's concentrated around not spending money. I don't really know what that's like. <laughs> Yeah, the whole like, you know, using makeup until it's empty thing. <sighs> Brand new horizons for me. So I think we're gonna like, you know, dip a toe in that philosophy come 2021, but we're not there yet. So um, if you're like watching this and you're like, wow, Khaki, you are obviously such a lightweight. I kind of am. And I'm not really feeling tipsy or anything right now. I'm genuinely just super excited to be doing a collab. I call it the arc. I have one arc. And that is like, I, I have the drink and this is with friends or anything, like any evening, I finally learned by age 33 that I have one limit when it comes to drinking and it is one drink. And I, I just go, wee, I'm tipsy and then it just comes back down. And that's my night. And then I just drink water and like I have a fitful night of sleep and I pay, you know, an exorbitant price for consuming alcohol. But um, if I'm gonna do it, it's gonna be something that makes me feel fancy. And by the way, I'm very obsessive about, um, drinking drinks from their proper vessel 
because of course I am. I have a giant pet peeve when I pay $14 for a glass of wine and someone brings it to me in a juice glass. That's not quaint to me, okay? That's not, ooh, I'm in Italy, no. In Italy, a glass of wine is a euro fifty. Okay, it's, that's why they serve it in a juice glass. Is because it's cash. But you know, I go to Contigo and they bring me a juice glass full of fourteen dollars worth of red wine, and I'm just like, no, I'm gonna need you to bring me an adult beverage in an adult glass. I digress. I am drinking a bubbly out of not a flute because. Otherwise the bubbles stay too bubbly. Am I wrong? I don't know. I like it because the air can escape a little bit and it doesn't make me quite as burpy. He's not kidding though. That is really delicious. I went there in search of a certain cremo that they serve at a place called Lazarus here in Austin. I feel like is one of the only wines that I've had in America that treats my body the way a European wine does where you can drink it and you just like feel happy and tipsy and there are no consequences. <laughs> I don't know how you guys do it in Europe. I think it's a lack of pesticides, but the wine that I went looking for, they didn't have, but this guy was like, um, this one's super delicious. And so I paid like $30 for it because delicious. Okay, I'm gonna get into the holiday of it all here and I'm going to attempt because peer pressure from one commenter that just is living in my head rent free. She was like, I would like it if you would do some more creative eye looks. All your eye looks are the same. You just do like glitter on the lid and you know, a crease shade or whatever. And I was like, my skills are not that great, but she did recommend, she was like, maybe try a halo eye. And I was like, okay, maybe I will. And I, I've tried it a few times. It didn't always work. But then I was watching Samantha Ravendahl's Q&A about her pregnancy and she had done a beautiful halo eye and I was like, oh, I feel like I can do a paint by number that kind of mimics that. So that's what we're going to do today. And for those of you who aren't familiar with what a halo eye is, I feel like it's pretty like <laughs> YouTube 101. I just never really picked up the skill because my eyes are so close set, but basically it's like dark, 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 and then it's kind of joined to the top and then you do like a shimmer all the way up the middle and it makes your eyelids look like really voluptuous and like big and, and tall and stuff, which I, you know, I could use that. So I wanna talk about this year. I mean, no, I don't wanna talk about this year. I don't. <laughs> We already did that in my feel good get ready with me that honestly, maybe didn't have the effect that I was hoping for. <laughs> Because I realized like 90% of it was just like rehashing a bunch of stuff that wasn't that fun to talk about. And then at the end I was like, yay, don't we all feel good? And somebody commented, I feel like this was just one big humble brag from Khaki. And I was like, have you been on YouTube ever? YouTube is either a nervous breakdown or a humble brag. That's all there is. If you want something in the middle, read a book. But like the, the algorithm has shoved us into our respective corners, okay? So yes, it's always a humble brag. Look at all the makeup I have. Look at the things that I can do with that. I don't know, is that important to you guys? If it is, then it might come off like a humble brag. But yeah, I mean, you know, I had a baby, humble brag. Um, I managed to keep life and limb throughout 2020, humble brag. Like, sure, I, I'll take that all day long. But I'm not going to talk about this year. I'm going to talk about the cosmic uh, pattern, the, the weather, the, what's it called? The transit that is happening at the end of this year. In fact, I think it's in like a week and it is called the grand mutation. I just learned about this. I'm acting like I know what I'm talking about, but I literally just learned about this through the Susan Miller app and also through Chani Nicholas, who are two of my favorite astrologers. I was reading all about this and apparently, and I mean, you know, keep me honest here. I'm not sure if this is exactly right, but it's like Jupiter and Saturn have this really big influence on our lives and they dictate like uh, both our goals and our success and what we find important. And uh, I don't know, like a lot to do with our paths in life. And they've been living in Capricorn, which is the most type A, of the entire, it's like the cardinal earth sign. So it's like super grounded. My entire family, I'm gonna tell a story about Capricorns. I'm gonna tell a story about Capricorns that will give you an idea of what Capricorns are like. And I apologize to all my Capricorns if this doesn't nail you, but it's also gonna include some Virgos and stuff too. This is why I always say I apologize to all my earth signs and I've started to include Libras in that too. So my mom is a Virgo. 
I love Virgos. I have so many great Virgos in my life. I think that Aries need Virgos. I will die on that hill. I think that Aries and Virgos are meant to be. We, eat, we need one another. They need our chaos. We need their organization and everything in between. So my mom grew up with her mother and both of her brothers being Capricorns. And my mother is a Capricorn rising. She has done her birth chart on a couple of different websites and she got Capricorn one time and then called me one time to tell me that she might be a Sagittarius rising. And so yeah, that could really change everything, but we think she's a Capricorn rising. So like double earth sign, my stepdad is also a Capricorn, Capricorn rising, a double Capricorn. So here's the story. Here's the story fam. This is in the beginning of COVID and we were all just like trying to stay busy, right? Especially me I was pregnant and I was so I was just so bored and so stir crazy and just like you know we couldn't leave the house I extra couldn't leave the house because I was pregnant you know just for health reasons and stuff like that and I was I was really starting to like I was starting to go go bonkers so um we were doing puzzles <laughs> my mom and my stepdad they both work at schools and I think that they kind of like ran across some puzzles that had been like neglected or something like that and they brought them home and they were like we're gonna do some puzzles and so my mom calls me in a huff not just angry but like resolute you know what i mean it was past anger it was like i've solved this problem and now I, you know what i mean she'd already contacted customer service she'd gotten her way and she needed to go ahead and tell somebody and that was that was when she called me and not really contacted customer service i just mean that hypothetically i'm the only one who actually contacts customer service she goes that m m's puzzle we got rid of it and i was like okay I'm sensing, I'm sensing there's a story here. Do tell, go on. I wanna hear about the M&M's puzzle. She's like, it was a thousand piece puzzle and it did not have a thousand pieces in it. And I was like, oh really? <laughs> she goes, yeah, we were, and this is a terrible impression of my mom. She doesn't sound like this at all. But she goes, we were working on this puzzle and it just like wasn't coming together. This was literally a puzzle that was wall to wall, just tiny M&M's. So part of me is like, were you just mad that it didn't come together fast enough? <laughs> but I am imagining my mom and my stepdad sitting there at the dinner table in their home in Florida, working on this puzzle and being like, look, these M&Ms don't match up and I'm not happy about it. This isn't fun. I'm not having fun anymore. Maybe this isn't our fault. So what did they do? They counted the puzzle pieces. All right, you're with me thus far. They counted the puzzle, pu the puzzle pieces, and my mother tells me again, resolute. She says there were a thousand and two pieces, and I was like, "Oh, <laughs> mom, <laughs> like, <laughs> okay." And I'm imagining these two Earth signs that are sharing a roof, being like, "Oh my God, we've been bamboozled <laughs> by the M and M's puzzle with a thousand and two pieces in it." And I kind of think, honestly die cutting, laser cutting, what have you, that maybe sometimes these things are a little bit different. Maybe they say a thousand and they mean a thousand and two and they just don't list it on the box. And maybe it's an Aquarius who has made that particular puzzle and they're, or an Aries and they're like, who cares? No one's gonna count the pieces. My mom and my stepdad are gonna count the pieces. And I was like, mom, are you sure that it was actually over a thousand pieces. She goes, we counted three times. <laughs> and I'm imagining an evening, an evening at my mother's residence where they sat and piled puzzle pieces, M&M's puzzle pieces into tiny piles of 10 until they finally concluded three times in a row that there were over a thousand pieces in this a purportedly 1,000 piece puzzle, and then they just boxed the whole thing up and put it away, and I was like, Mom, I know you think this makes you sound less crazy, but it makes you sound more crazy, okay? So that is Earth Signs in a nutshell. Capricorns in a nutshell is, last Christmas, when we were all back at home at my parents' house, my mother made the most delicious oven-roasted pork chops on the bone and all the marrow had like you know crystallized and it was all just so delicious it was wonderful 
as I mentioned, her older brother is a Capricorn as well. And so we're all sitting there at the table and my mother starts Virgoing the situation. We're all like, that is so good. I am an Aries, my sister is a Pisces, my cousin is a Pisces. And we're just sitting there going, that was so good, mom. That was the best pork chop I've ever had. And my mom goes, I don't know. I think it was a little bit dry. I forgot to turn the oven down from 500 at the right time. The timer went off, but I was doing something else and I forgot and I think that they're a little bit dry. And then my uncle starts arguing her into a wall that they're the best pork chops he's ever had and will not take no for an answer. And I looked at him and I was like, this is the most Capricorn thing I have ever seen in my life. And he goes, you know, everyone keeps saying that to me. Everyone says, oh, Capricorns, they always think they're right. He goes, it's not that I think I'm right. It's that I am right. And I was like, put that on a freaking bumper sticker, okay? That's Capricorns in a nutshell. I know because I, we are completely outnumbered in my family. And my grandfather, if you were doing the math there, the one remaining person in the household who is not an earth sign, was my grandfather and he was a cancer and he was just notorious for sitting back at the dinner table and just like quietly chuckling at everyone. So I think that's a perfect encaps encapsulation of, of the signs. I'm gonna go into a different palette. What palette am I gonna go into? You know guys, I would kind of argue, this might be blasphemy, but like, do you really need Exaggerize for $53 when you could have PYT No BS for 32? I mean, Look at that. They're so similar. These are the kinds of things that keep me up at night. So I'm gonna just move into that adjacent palette here. All of that to say, <laughs> this is probably the largest lasso that I've had to like leave a thought and come back to it. Like that was a lot of anecdote, but um, yeah. So Saturn, Saturn and Jupiter have been, I think, I think this is the case, living in Capricorn. And so all of our values and our like sense of worth have been tied up in Capricorn values, you know, just typical, typical Capricorn values. I'm not saying this is every Capricorn, but they're just basically like what you have and how hard you're working you know, and they're willing to do the work to get the, to get the bag. Um, and so it's not a bad thing, but they're really, really hard workers and they're very like eye on the ball. It's just, it's just a very type A, uh, whole energy Capricorn is. So we're moving into Aquarius. Okay. And that's going to be for the next 200 years. And Susan Miller loves to use hyperbole like that. She's like, for the rest of your life. And I'm like, it's easy for you to say for the rest of your life because no one's ever lived to be 200 years old. But I just love that. I love that she's just like excited to use hyperbole like that. Anyway, apparently it's all going to have to do instead of what you have and how hard you're working, it's going to be more like who you know and like how strong your friendships are and like making connections. I'm gonna go ahead and admit to the fact that I have a hard time maintaining friendships because I am too much of a perfectionist to maintain friendships. I have cactus friends, okay? Cactus friends are the kinds of people who you talk to and you connect with whenever that person is in like a really good headspace and or not but I mean whenever you feel like it you know whenever you feel like being a friend and then when you're not really in a good headspace or you don't feel like being a friend and you just need like alone time or whatever sometimes for months or years on end you just don't take it personally when that person doesn't contact you I'm not one of those people who needs constant friendship attention I'm very I'm very independent so this is the first time I would say, especially on the actual YouTube platform, like this video symbolizes this, that I have had actual like friends in this space. Is that, I don't know, I might be getting ahead of myself. I'm going to go with Sparkling Rosé here. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch both of these. So you guys might recall, kind of switching topics here back to, I don't know, makeup, that thing that my channel's about. You guys might recall that Glossier caught a lot of flack for their glitter gel that they put out in the Glossier Play release because they were not using biodegradable glitter. They pulled it off the market because they couldn't find biodegradable glitter, basically. And I'm not, I haven't done the research here. I haven't done the research to know whether this is biodegradable in the sense of like in the next 300 years or like tomorrow. But I will say when I had this swatched on the back of my hand, it washed off in the sink, 
which was really cool. It didn't do anything weird or sticky or emollient or like, I don't know, sometimes glitter just like clings forever. You guys know it's the, it's the herpes of craft supplies. And this just washed off and I was like, okay. That's a that's an auspicious sign. I don't know if that really means anything, but I found I found comfort in it. Regardless, these are from Lawless. They come in cardboard containers, very, very cool. And they are, I'm not sure how big the pan is, but they look like they're full to the brim. I think they're $14. And the colors are super pretty. They're super duper pretty. Even the gold, the Champagne Dreams one, is not so yellow gold that I feel like it would be hard for me to wear. It's just a nice kind of neutral pinky gold and this is like pinky pink pink. And I think I might want to just layer them. Let's do that and then we will go into the rest of my, my cheeks and whatnot. I'm gonna start with Champagne Dreams here. So yeah, I don't know if that made me sound like I'm getting all like gooey. I'm definitely not an emotionally closed off person. I like connection. I'm just self-conscious about connection because I, again, I'm so, I'm so conscious of how much I am sometimes. I'm extremely intense a lot of times. And when you're on YouTube or any kind of social media platform, it kind of goes without saying, right? And you know, we're all kind of extreme, I shouldn't say extreme personalities, dang. Oh my God, layer them, layer them. Okay, that's my advice to you. I'm not gonna say necessarily everybody would self-identify as extreme, but like big personalities, you kind of have to be. No one wants to watch somebody dead behind the eyes on camera. And you also have to have a certain amount of confidence in order to even turn a camera on and think that the world gives a crap what you have to say about anything, you know? Or, well, I mean, I don't know, Kiki and I were talking about our very esoteric interests uh, and how sometimes our videos are not necessarily super algorithm friendly, so. Oh. My God. These do not disappoint, fam. These replace, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and say it. These replace the Tati glitters. Take that. 2020. I'm gonna take a flat brush here and go underneath my eyes too. Girl, are you seeing this glitter right now? I wanna send one to everyone I know. I just kicked my camera. <laughs> oh, all right, so those are the Lawless Bio Glitters. I'm pretty sure I got a good bit of that in my eyes. So that'll be, that'll be fun later. I also want to talk about the signs, okay? I've been seeing all this content lately, doing impressions of all of the signs of the Zodiac. And I feel like I've been in this game, the game being um, armchair astrologer, you know, for a few years now to the point where I have, not necessarily opinions formed, I just think I have a general awareness of like, an, an appreciation, a genuine appreciation for every sign uh, in what they're able to offer. And so that is, I don't know, that's one of my favorite reasons to bring it up in conversation is because I'm just curious. It's not because I want to like, say that one is good or one is bad or something. Um, I personally absolutely know that as an Aries, I am the best and also the worst and also the best. Just knowing that, I, I feel like I kind of come into the conversation self-aware enough. Mm. So beginning at the beginning, talking about Capricorns, now that's not necessarily the beginning, that's just the beginning of the year. Aries is technically the first sign of the zodiac. We'll get there. But if you're thinking like, oh, do I know any Capricorns? Rob Beauty Christie is a Capricorn, okay? She's one of my favorite Capricorns. You look at the way she has approached pregnancy and her channel during her pregnancy and things like that and her brand releases and stuff. Like she is just so matter of fact, she's so eye on the ball, she's such a hard worker and she is very resolute, again, in the things that she decides to dedicate her energy towards. She's a Capricorn in a nutshell and I love it. Now, my favorite Aquarian, Ina Garden. Obviously, so I think everybody has a favorite slash like personal embodiment of, you know, in the form of a celebrity chef. Feel free to drop yours down below in the comments. Who is your favorite embodiment? I'm not saying spirit. I'm not doing the whole spirit animal thing. That's insensitive. Who is your personal embodiment of uh, a celebrity chef? Because mine is, mine is Ina Garden. But Aquarians 
are some of my favorite people. My husband is a Pisces Aquarian, so he's in the disputed territory between uh, Aquarius and Pisces. But I do think that he is more air sign, and air signs are amazing. They're super imaginative. They're very, again, airy. And I would say that um, Aquarius, what are they? They are the fixed air sign. They're like I don't know. They're really, really cool. Okay. They are like the most chill, self-contented ones. It's, it's a beautiful kind of person because they think outside the box. They are incredibly like creative in terms of problem solving and they're quick. They're super, super quick, but, um, they're not the most organized people in the world. And you might imagine how maybe a Capricorn and Aquarius could clash. Eyeliner. I'm gonna go for a liquid eyeliner today because I'm feeling crazy and self-destructive. So here's the thing I didn't know I had. This is an M Cosmetics Illustrative Eyeliner Brush Tip in brown. Nope, this isn't black. I made that up. She has a brown one. I'm going to find it. Apparently I made all of that up because I, uh, I thought I had a brown one. It's probably somewhere. It's probably off frolicking with that Makeup by Mario lip gloss that I have still not found. Ariana who? <laughs> so Pisces. Oh, my lovely Pisces. Pisces are the last sign in the zodiac. I'm using the Aether Beauty Rose Quartz Palette just for the highlight on my inner corner because it's perfect. Pisces is the last one in the zodiac. It carries all of the weight of the rest of the world. I would argue like almost all of the water signs are carrying the weight of that. But when I was looking for like my favorite, <laughs> my favorite Pisces, besides my husband, my sister, my cousin, famous Pisces. The first one is Rihanna, <laughs> okay? Uh, then we got Justin Bieber. Elizabeth Taylor, Kurt Cobain, Kesha. Yeah, I just wanna congratulate all Pisces on just doing life as a Pisces, cause it's hard, okay? Y'all are really, y'all are really doing the most. So let's just move right into Aries because it's my sign. We're out here really doing the least. Like we are the fool card in the tarot. And the fool is number zero in the major arcana. It's sitting here like, hey, uh, I don't know. It'll probably be fine, just do it. And that is why I ended up doing a collaboration with like how many people with my face looking like this. It's because I don't think ahead, okay? I think thinking ahead is kind of boring and that's why Aries need Virgos. See, it all comes around. My favorite Aries, you know, besides myself, I'm just kidding, that's the worst. I am the worst. And this will also give you an idea of what we're talking about when we talk about Aries. Um, Jonathan Van Ness is like a week older than me, okay? You should have seen how overjoyed I was when I found out that Paul Rudd is an Aries because Paul Rudd is my dream man. Sorry, husband, he knows. He knows that Paul Rudd is my dream man. Everyone loves my dog so much, I call him the Paul Rudd of dogs. One that we don't claim uh, as an Aries, like as a collective, the group chat, the, you know, the worldwide Aries group chat, we do not claim Kourtney Kardashian. She makes us look bad. Um, but in terms of being complicated, I think I have the same birthday as Heath Ledger, Jamie Lynn Spears, Maya Angelou, of course she's an Aries, we're just meant to be famous, and um, Robert Downey Jr. Oh no, that just happened. Other Aries that I love. I love Alicia Marie, okay? I've been on YouTube long enough to appreciate all of the like teenage, uh, hyper-saturated videos that used to be back in 2014 and the fact that they have all matured into, I'm not gonna say mature adults, but people making really funny truth or drink videos. So yeah, I think Alicia Marie, her birthday is like a couple days before mine. I love her to absolute giblets. Hang on, I gotta look up some more famous Aries here. Oh God, how could I forget Lady Gaga? Okay, yeah, Robert Downey Jr., Mariah Carey, Mimi herself, Emma Watson, Elton John, Eddie Murphy, Reese Witherspoon, Kristen Stewart, Celine Friggin Dion, Diana Friggin Ross, Sarah Jessica Parker, Ewan McGregor, Victoria Dagum Beckham, Kira Friggin Knightley, Paul Dam Rudd, Pharrell, James Ass Franco, man, uh, Aretha, yes, Sarah Michelle Geller Buffy herself, Aries is. I'm just so proud to hold it down. I'm really. I'm such a small part of something so much bigger than me. And I'm, <laughs> I am serving 
clockwork orange glam right now. We're just gonna let that dry while we do the rest of my face and then I'll kind of scrape it off and I apologize to all of my earth signs and my Libras. Oh, I want something nice and cool toned. I think we're gonna go with the rest of this palette here. I need to do a little tiny bit of powdering first. Okay, so Tauruses, one of my favorite Tauruses, obviously the Queen of England. <laughs> Because of course as I'm watching The Crown, I'm Googling what everybody's sign is. Of course I am. Well, let's do some blush. Because that's what you came here for, right? I don't know. Um, this, by the way, I have no idea. I think it's just, you know, my own personal glow. I'm gonna test out this little thing. We're just gonna go rogue here. So this is like the little interchangeable guy that is uh, in the Eco Tool set that they sent me. And we're just gonna... <laughs> Oh, I love that. That's really great, actually. So yeah, Tauruses are, I would say, the, the chill earth sign. Virgos are definitely like the chaotic earth sign, but the, uh, the Tauruses are like the chill earth sign. They make earth signs, they make type A look cute. That's what I always say. I love me a Taurus. They're very, very important. They help the world go around. And because I am so chaotic, I have found that my favorite people to work with in the workplace are Tauruses. They're the kind of people who keep me glued down. So I love you, Tiffany, and I love you, Vince. <laughs> my, my Tauruses who keep my life together. My Geminis, guys, I love a Gemini. I am a Gemini moon. I think Geminis are amazing. Geminis are air signs and they're very visual and they are some of the most chaotic people I've ever met, but they are also the most generous people I've ever met. They are the best cactus friends, at least for an Aries. My friend Genevieve, who's been on my channel before, my friend Jordan, who's been on my channel before, they are both, they are both Geminis. Cancer, I'm also a Cancer rising. Oh, there are so many good ones. They, there are, I should Google it, but like the first one that comes to mind is Carissa Bodner, the CEO and founder of Thrive Cosmetics, because truly the signs of being a Cancer are that you genuinely care about other people. Water signs especially, they just feel for others. One of my best friends, Cammie, is a, is a Cancer. She's like a Cancer through and through and she's a yoga instructor, you know what I mean? And she's in school for like Chinese medicine. She wants to help people. And when I was at this like giving event in Beverly Hills <laughs> with, uh, with Thrive Cosmetics a couple of years ago, I had a couple of glasses of bubbly. We were all sitting there with our feet in the pool after a bunch of people had jumped in with their clothes on and I asked everybody what their sign was. And and like almost the whole team at Thrive, they were all like, oh, I'm a Cancer. Because they care, they're a bunch of people who care and they wanna work for a company that cares and it just made me so happy. I was like, it all makes sense. And they were like, what does that even mean? And I was like, how do you live in LA and you're not as astrology obsessed as me? But anyway, I digress, I love a good Cancer. Next we have Leo. Leo is near and dear to my heart. A lot of my friends are Leos and I always think of Leo as being really like fiery and energized and like me, 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 me. But the people who I know who are Leos aren't really like that. They kind of have like a streak of that probably in certain parts of their lives, but they're able to like compartmentalize it. They're really able to use it in certain parts of their life without it, like without the fire being all consuming. So Cancer is a cardinal sign, which means that Leo is the fixed sign in the fire element, which explains that. They're like very able to control their fire. Whereas like Sagittarius is the mutable. So they're like actually like, more concentrated on other people than themselves. <laughs> I'm the cardinal fire sign, so I'm just like, me, but also me. I think that Leos are a gift upon this earth, and my favorite Leo is Barack Obama. This is looking pretty cute, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually gonna also highlight with this highlighter because we're just feeling extra today. What do we have? Oh, Virgos, I already talked about this. Some of my favorite Virgos in the world, uh, my mom, Hallie, Kiki. I need to find another blush. I'm gonna pull out the Wayne Goss blush and get wild. Because I'm keeping this so pink, I'm going to go with the Wayne Goss, the Weightless Veil blush palette in Coral Rose. Pink and gold. The theme of this video. Mm, that's looking pretty cute. The world needs Virgos is the moral of that story. Um, then we get into Libra. My new son is a Libra. I love a Libra. Libras are the opposite of me, so they're on the other end of the zodiac. And for a long time, I thought that that meant that I wasn't going to like them <laughs> or that I was gonna be naturally opposed to them or whatever. But some of my absolute favorite people are Libras, Simon, my son, but also, 
If you aren't following Michael Ahmad, the Bearded Beauty Bible, on Instagram, your life is not complete. I'm sorry. Hmm. I wish you could repost people's Instagram stories, but if you could, I would like literally only repost his, which is pointless. You might as well just go follow him. But I mean, every time he posts something, I'm like, mm, relatable. And he's just, he's so intense and I'm so intense. I wish he was on this collab, but he doesn't do makeup collab. He just, he has an entire channel about orchids. It's called Michael's Orchids. You should check it out. Even if you're not into orchids, he's great. Tippy top favorite Libras. <laughs> I also love, <laughs> this is so embarrassing, but I love Sierra. What's her name? Sierra Furtado. <laughs> I still watch all the old YouTubers, guys. Like all the ones that I'm like six or seven years older than. And I know that there are people that watch me that are six or seven years older than me. Don't feel bad, that's not my point. My point is they all started out as like teeny bopper YouTubers. It's not about the age, it's about the fact that they were 26 making back to school videos and I was still watching them, you know? <laughs> so um, yeah, I still watch all those. And I think that Sierra Furtado, is um, extra as heck and she's like a Libra in a nutshell and I appreciate her for, for everything that she is. This is looking really cute, okay? Uh, now we just need to try and cover my lips up. Okay, getting into the end here, Scorpio. Everybody joked in my family that I was so excited that my baby came early because he was scheduled to be a Scorpio. There's nothing wrong with a Scorpio, okay? They're just a lot and I'm also a lot so I understand what it's like to be a lot. And um, my favorite Scorpios, if you need an example of a Scorpio, okay? Kris Jenner. <laughs> Kris Jenner is the most Scorpio Scorpio that ever existed. And there are really, I've known Scorpios who do not exhibit that same kind of like crazy, deep, emotional, aggressive energy. Plenty of Scorpios don't. My next door neighbor is a Scorpio, a guy. And he is very passionate. They're very passionate people, but he's not like, not like Kris Jenner, you know what I mean? The devil works hard, but Kris Jenner works harder kind of thing. And this doesn't hurt, by the way. I hope that this hasn't like been killing you guys. And this will all go down. It's going to look completely normal, I promise. I didn't do anything crazy. I didn't get a lip flip, not that there's anything wrong with a lip flip, but I think that especially on me, it would be such a dead giveaway of lip filler or having something done to have my lip flip up. And so um, I don't go for that, even though it's very inexpensive to do it. Also, if you're thinking about getting your lips done and you're wondering how much it costs, I will tell you, here in Austin, one cc of Volbella costs $800. Do I pay $800 for it? Absolutely not. What you do is you follow Ally, which is the new Brilliant Distinctions, which is the Allergan account for all this cosmetic stuff, Botox, Juvederm, cool sculpting, all that stuff, and around holiday times or just random times during the year, they will have events where they sell gift cards for a discounted price. And in May, they did a whole sale. Right now they're doing a $75 for $100. So it's like 25% off of a gift card. But I stocked up in May and bought four of the 200 for 100. So I got all of this for half price. It was just not a big deal. And it lasts like a year and a half, so. Okay, I had to change my battery. So that's the tea on that. I'm always really upfront with you guys about that kind of stuff because I would hate for somebody to be like, oh, I'm gonna buy that lip color that she is wearing or something like that because it's gonna make my lips look like that. Or, oh, I'm gonna buy that skincare that she uses because it's gonna make my forehead look like that. And it's like, no guys, I'm like going on 34 years old. I'm going and getting work done. My forehead is smooth because I get Botox. My lips are big because I get Fulbella. <laughs> like, <laughs> my teeth are fake because I paid for them. <laughs> I am all in on doing the things that make you happy with your appearance. So what else do we have left? Scorpio goes into where we are right now, which is Sag, right? Did I miss anything? Sagittarius is the mutable fire sign. It's where we're living right now. It is, I would say, the fire sign that aims to help with their fiery energy instead of take. I don't even think I'm in, like insulting any Aries because even if you've managed to like emulate selflessness over the course of your life and you use your intensity towards caring for others, you still know that that part of you exists, okay? You're still like, I mean, why wasn't I born into royalty? It just seems like an injustice. <laughs> No, I literally, I've said this before, but growing up, I found out about the royal family and I was like, mm, 
the paperwork got mixed up. I was supposed to be born into royalty. And when I told my mom that I was gonna marry into royalty, she goes, they won't let Americans marry into royalty. And then Meghan Markle happened and I was like, mom, you lied to me. But now that I've watched The Crown, I literally looked over at my husband last night. I'm like, we're about to start the last season of it, the most recent season of it. And I looked over at him and I was like, how did it just occur to me that being a royal sucks? <laughs> like, it seems awful. And he's like, I don't know. I just think that they all just like don't appreciate it. He's like, you know, you could be just jet setting all the time and like appreciating everything for free, but instead you're just complaining. So, you know. Six or one half a dozen or the other, but I think it does suck to be Meghan Markle. I and mean, it doesn't suck suck. I mean, she's obviously like a really lovely person, but um, but yeah, I, I don't think that all of my ambitions to marry into royalty uh, would have panned out for my own happiness. <laughs> you almost can't see my fat lip with a big bruising in it. You have to massage them constant, not constantly, but twice a day for the first, I don't know, week or so. And so that is also why they're super bruised. And I don't think I was supposed to go for a run yesterday. I had them done two days ago, so I did wait, but I, I don't, I think that it would probably exacerbate, exacerbate the bruising just a touch, but. Oh, by the way, I really, I mean, I almost feel like it's not worth mentioning, but that was Venetian Rose from M Cosmetics. It's just the best. It's so good. Oh, so would that I had a holiday party to go to, which by the way, back in the day, I actually did get ready with these when I was getting ready for something. No one actually gets ready for anything anymore. So I think that regardless, I get ready with me as a get ready with me to stay home. So it's 12.47 PM on a Sunday and I've had a glass of wine and I've done a full face of glam, which is hilarious to me. Anyway, I hope that this holiday, you do do something glam for your face just to hang out at home and be with your family. This is my first ever holiday with my new little family with my son and while i wish that i could be with all of my family members this christmas there is something really charming and sweet and special about it just being us i am going to cry on christmas because of my little one and how you just know that Christmas is gonna be so exciting through their eyes in the coming years and it just makes you like excited about everything all over again. That's, that's the glitter on my eyes from Lawless. Lawless has not gotten my attention in a long time on anything and it's because they have been putting out kind of overpriced and underwhelming things, but I think that these are, if that pan goes all the way down, if it's turtles all the way down, then this is actually quite a lot of product and it's fairly affordable. So uh, it comes in cardboard. I think that she did a really good job with these and they're super duper beautiful. If you had your eye on the Tati palette for some reason, and you never pulled the trigger on it, these are gonna probably satisfy the same itch. And, uh, and that's the vibe today, guys. Again, check out all of my collaborators, all the lovely creators that tolerate me. Now I get it. Now I get why Amanda Z puts I'm tolerable on when she asks you to subscribe. Because it's, as an Aries, and she is one, that's really all we can claim is that we are tolerable. Um, but anyway, <laughs> Go subscribe to their channels, go watch their videos. That's what I'm gonna go do as soon as this video goes up is I'm going to go and watch all of their versions of this video and see, uh, it's gonna fill my whole day. It's gonna be so joyful and wonderful. So definitely do that. And uh, thank you guys for watching and for hanging out with me today, even though I look like I ran into a parked car face first. <laughs> And if you did enjoy this, give it a big holiday thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a big glittery thumbs down if that's your truth. It all counts as engagement in the algorithm. If you wanna keep hanging out with me on this channel, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I would appreciate it if you did. Thank you guys so much for watching and for hanging out with me and my fat lip today. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>